brand new legendary commander is going to be here relatively soon in rise of kingdoms the question that we got here for you should free to play max Scipio africanus this is one of the two commanders that are going to be released Scipio africanus will be released in the wheel of fortune so this is easily accessible by every single player the question is should free to play max Scipio Africanus. My name is Shinchi42. Welcome to Rise of Kingdoms. If you enjoy this content today, do press like. And if you want to see more content, subscribe and turn your notification on. So before we get started to the video, let me ask you something. What is the real role of a free-to-play player in Rise of Kingdoms? I want you to type it in the comment section, and I want to hear everybody's opinion about it. But here's what I think. If you are a free-to-play player or somebody who is not spending a lot of money into the game anymore, like me, I've dropped out of my spending, which I am now a casual low spender, I spend on time to time. Being a free-to-play or a low spender in the game, your role changes just like mine changes. I can assimilate to 90% of the players of this game. Now, here's what I think. If you are in the same role as me or same role as a free-to-play, then your role will then be majority is open field fighting. You are not going to be the one who rallies a flag. You are not going to be the one who defends the flag or defends the fortress. If you are a free-to-play and low spender, you're not going to have this ability. Therefore, most of your fighting will happen in the open field. And another aspect of that is you're going to be the one who goes into the flags or structures and use and rely on to the captains of the whales. So you're not really going to be the one who is going to be defending as a captain. Therefore, the investment of legendary commander sculptures will need to go into an open field situation commanders, not on garrison, not on rally leaders, but on the open field commanders. Now, with Scipio of Africanus, this is an amazing open field commander. It has infantry, versatile, and support talent tree. This commander is great in the open field. Let's take a look into Scipio Africanus skills and let's break some of this down for us to understand better. Scipio's active skill is an AOE. It has this forward facing fan shape area with a high damage of 2000 damage factor. Now, whenever this damage is dealt towards the opponent, each target will then be reduced by 15% for each additional target. So how to counter this is by sending multiple units to target Scipio of Africanus so that you can reduce the damage that he is going to be inflicting. Now, successfully targets that are hit will then suffer a 30% reduce of health for this whooping three seconds, which is very huge for Scipio Africanus. The second skill, which I find really nice, this is a passive skill. It says your increased infantry units attack by 40% and their marching speed by 15%. This is one thing I like, marching speed, because infantry are relatively slow. They also gain 10 more percent of increased marching speed outside of Alliance territory. So if you're trying to run away going back home, then you are going to get a 10% increase of marching speed. I really like this movement for Scipio Africanus. This is going to be really great compliment for free to play. As I've mentioned, you are going to be playing a lot in the open field. Now, the third skill is another passive skill. Increase infantry health units by 20% when attacking troops. All right. So you have to actively attack a troop and then grants each attack a 10% chance of dealing of a continuous additional damage for three seconds. Now, this skill is a really good compliment for Flavius or Flavius, whatever you want to call it. Um, this 
is an additional damage for 3 seconds of a damage factor of 500. Although this effect can triggers once every 8 seconds, a little bit of a longer cooldown, but that is actually insane because having that 20% health bonus for infantry, bravo. Really good. The fourth skill in here, when troop on the map take skill damage. So whenever Scipio is taking a skill damage, there is a 50% chance of reducing that damage. Wow. And forming a shield that covers up three allied troop units for three seconds. So that is absolutely insane because you're going to reduce that skill damage. So when we think about archers, when archers hit Scipio Africanus, we hit with a super high damage. This is, has a 50% chance of blocking it for 30% of that damage. And it's going to cover up three allied units for three seconds as well. That is really good support commander for a damage factor of 500. It's almost just like the, um, the coin. When we look into the coin, as you can see, absorb shield damage factor of 500 in a legendary commander. Wow, nice. The last skill in here, increase skill damage dealt by 10% when the target is silenced. Rage grows 30% faster. This is a really great combination for Flavius. Really good. Makes it so OP. But here's the thing. You are a free-to-play player. You're probably not going to get both commanders maxed out. You're probably not even going to get a chance to compete in the Mightiest Governor to get Flavius. So what else do we have as an infantry commander that has a silence, which we know, Guan Yu. So we're going to look into this commander pairing with Guan Yu and a few others in here that may benefit Scipio Africanus. Now let's take a look at some of the existing commanders that you already have. Most of you who are invested into infantry probably already have Guan Yu maxed out. And if not, it's okay. You can still work on Guan Yu. The only thing that I can really think of that is going to be an amazing combo for Scipio is Guan Yu. Okay? What I'm trying to say right now is that the existing commander. So, of course, it will be amazing if you can get Flavius, but it's most likely going to be a challenge for free-to-play players or the low spenders. Now, Guan Yu is going to be an amazing combo to Scipio. You can even use it for rallying cities if you like now the combination for this is going to be guan yu and Scipio. so it's going to save you a lot of stars right you definitely want guan yu there as a primary because of the damage factor of 2000 guan yu and Scipio would be amazing because guan yu will have a silence for three seconds so also there is a skill increase of the damage by 10 percent already passive you don't have to do anything that, abs that is absolutely insane. So with that being said, you can definitely cast this much faster. And now you have to take a look into some of the equipments. What if you can equip some of the best accessories to generate more rage, like the Horn of Fury, and then as well as the Karowak's War Drum? That would be absolutely insane, generating a massive amount of rage with the commanders. Now, for example, you are not really a huge, huge spender. Maybe you don't have Guan Yu, but you really want Scipio. What commander can you use? You can definitely try to use Zun Tu, although you're not going to benefit as much. But I would say you definitely need to have Guan Yu. Now, if you don't have Guan Yu, you can do Zun Tu. And if you really still want to try to benefit on the silence, then you can run another march or have your team run a march with silence. If your team has a Guan Yu, it will still silence a target. Just find and work and go along with the Guan Yu. Or you can run another march with a Herman with an archer setup, right? You'll have a Herman and whatever you want, Herman called Sonoki, and just try to inflict silence to the target so that you can benefit. That's another aspect that you can do within this um, you know, existing commanders that you have. Because the status in here is that it only says that when the target is silenced, and when you're actively targeting that target that is silenced, you're going to increase your rage by 30%. With that being said, should Free-to-Play go ahead and max out Scipio of Africanus? I think, yes. I think Scipio is going to be a wonderful addition to your commander's list.